With cyber threats on the rise, the role of a SOC analyst has never been more crucial. If you're interested in a career in cybersecurity, this video is for you. So let's get started. First off, what is a SOC? A Security Operations Center, or SOC, serves as the first line of defense against cyber threats for organizations. Its role is to monitor, assess, and defend security issues. So why become a Level 1 SOC analyst? Well, the demand is high, with a projected job growth rate of 31% between 2019 and 2029, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The median annual salary in 2022 was around $96,000. Now let's take a look at 7 steps you should take if you are looking to become a SOC analyst. Step 1. Gain a strong foundation in IT. It's important to have a solid understanding of computer networks, operating systems, and programming languages. Take courses or earn certifications to enhance your technical skills. Step 2. Familiarize yourself with security concepts. Learn about encryption, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and incident response. Stay updated on the latest trends and threats in the cybersecurity field. Step 3. Acquire knowledge of security tools and technologies like Splunk, Proofpoint, and Endpoint Detection and Response EDR, to name a few. Know how to work with Security Incident and Event Manager CM, platforms, packet capture analysis tools, and vulnerability assessment scanners. Gain hands-on experience through labs and simulations. Step 4. Develop your analytical skills. As a SOC analyst, you'll need to analyze and correlate large amounts of data. Practice problem solving and critical thinking to improve your ability to detect and respond to security incidents. Step 5. Understand the incident response lifecycle. Learn about the different phases, preparation, identification, containment, eradication, and recovery. Familiarize yourself with industry best practices and standard operating procedures. Step 6. Seek certifications to enhance your credentials. Consider pursuing certifications like CompTIA Security Plus, Certified Incident Handler, or Certified SOC Analyst. Certifications can give you a leg up. CompTIA Security Plus is often considered an entry-level certification. For those more ambitious, CH and CISSP are excellent options. These certifications validate your knowledge and skills as a SOC analyst. Step 7. Gain practical experience through internships or entry-level positions. Apply your knowledge in a real-world environment, working alongside experienced professionals in a security operations center. As a Level 1 SOC analyst, you'll mainly monitor security alerts, perform initial incident identification, and report findings. You'll need to comply with various regulations like GDPR or HIPAA, depending on your organization's focus. Becoming a Level 1 SOC analyst is a rewarding yet challenging experience. You are the frontline defense against cyber threats and an essential part of any organization's cybersecurity strategy. By following these steps and continuously learning, you'll be well on your way to becoming a Level 1 SOC analyst. Remember, cybersecurity is a dynamic field, so never stop improving your skills and knowledge. From Level 1, you can move to Level 2 and 3 SOC analyst positions, which involve more complex tasks and even management roles. Some also transition into cybersecurity consulting, a path that often requires broader knowledge in policies and project management. Let's look at a real-world example. In 2020, the SolarWinds cyber attack was detected by a SOC analyst who noticed unusual behavior. This was crucial for early containment of a threat that affected thousands of organizations. Thank you for watching our guide on becoming a Level 1 SOC analyst. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity tips and career advice.